Good morning everybody and this is your Forex Day Trade Setups for today. And uh, starting off with uh, Euro USD as usual. Feds have come out, told us that uh, uh, they're worried about inflation and they will be raising interest rates and the dollar responded. Uh, so dollar is just basically that just brings dollar strength. So at the moment we are bottom of range. Um, so you can see we broke above the range and now we're bottom of range. So this is the area to be paying attention to, ladies and gentlemen. We, um, you wouldn't have got that structure with uh, the Fed's noise coming out. No way you would have, you would have hit that, but it was a rejection there. Let's see what that risk was. Fairly decent risk, 200 points. So um, that was your your previous breakdown. That was a rejection. So now what you're looking for is the next retest so looking for a move at least a bounce back into 112 700 area so 112 700 112 635 looking for a move back into that area rejection of that that's going to give you a fairly decent uh, that's risk is 400 points it's not too bad but uh, i'd basically have my stop above whatever structure forms for another move down to this area where we are at the moment and then possibly a break of that to move the downside. So um, yeah, pull back and then looking for shorts on this. Uh, US dollar, Japanese yen, basically um, the converse of what we're looking at there. So here we're looking for longs. There is a fairly decent structure break at the moment. These oscillators are a bit concerning, so I'd wanna see us pull back into um, this area here. And let's just get to the hour before we look at that. Um, so I want to see us pulling back into 114.157, but possibly not even going to get there. Uh, 114.382 could also be a fairly decent area. And then lastly, you're looking at exactly where we bounce at the moment, which is 114.545. So um, probably just going to arrange about here in the Asian session and which is fine it just builds a bit of structure and then what you can be doing then is look for the break of the structure and the retest so uh, next level is basically the high of the morning so break come back retest and you're looking for an opportunity to be long there with a stop here at um, 114.445 area so definitely looking interesting there um, moving on to British pound Japanese yen we rallied a, rallied a little bit this week sort of made a new high, got a range bar. We're now on the 155 EMA, as you can see, there's pretty solid structure here. Don't like the way the oscillators are looking, if, um, well, if I'm a bull, that is. But uh, the way that they're starting to pan out is we should be looking for an opportunity to short. So um, this level here is fairly key. And you can see there's sort of a, um, a micro level in amongst here as well, which is right down here. So uh, I'd be looking for uh, either sort of a, a range break, um, alternatively a move back into, uh, it's gonna be really tight at the moment. So uh, we can move back into this zone here of 154.269 and, and then look for break or alternatively look for the break here at 153.971, break, move down, pull back, retest, and then that would be the opportunity to, to jump in on this. So this is in a downward trend, but you know we tried to try to reverse and it's basically a flag. Um, but we've had a we've had the flag break to the upside. And normally when that happens you wait for the flag break the downside and that's normally a, a pretty solid signal. So that's what we're waiting for. Waiting for this little bit of structure that is here to give way um, It'll probably give way, won't give you an opportunity to get in, but then you wait for the retest, that will give you the opportunity to get in on this. Okay, anyway, I hope that helps, and uh, let's move on to the next one, which is Euro British Pound. And uh, Euro British Pound, pretty much weekly level here. We've broken up, we've rejected the 155, and then we're just drifting lower. So look the left, we're pretty much in between two levels here, and we need to pay attention to those two levels because we're looking for a break of that structure. So uh, the level to the downside is 083381, and then we've got this uh, 083611. So uh, I think this one is, is pretty much sideways. Rather sit on hands, look at the dollar. The dollar's got a little bit more opportunity. Uh, even the 
pound Japanese yen got a little bit of opportunity but you know we need to wait for a break of the structure just bear in mind that this this level over here at 0.83381 is a very strong weekly level so if you look at the weekly chart you'll see you know, all the lines here indicate where the structure is and there's a nice juicy target to the downside which is this gap so we're looking for a half decent break here and if you look at the weekly bar that's forming uh, very possible that this is just the start of another move to the downside and ultimately targeting 80 um, eight, or 81 should I say 081 so that's kind of the view that we've got at the moment but we just need to wait for that structure uh, to give way and at the moment we are sideways so I need to see a pretty decent move maybe looking at uh, London breakout to the downside may offer a hint of what's to come but uh, this is what needs to break and retest and that's 083381 uh, that's the ultimate one anyway hope it helps and uh, we'll catch up with you uh, tomorrow morning cheers for now